it. So if you know what you want, you can go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I gotta look at the menu. One of my goals in having her here before I can relax is her seeing someone come out at her face out of the cafe, right at her, and her look away rather than react. Once I see her do that, I know she's making good decisions on her own, and I can move her and relax a bit. I think something with a dog like Jane, something that's easy to forget is that when you go on an outing with your dog, you're doing it to train your dog, not to hang out and relax. 80% of my time out with her, I, I either have the coffee in the hand that my phone is in, <laughs> um, but I'm holding her leash and e-collar at a valuable level, ready to go uh, while I drink my coffee with the other hand. There is no serious relaxing, looking at my phone, hanging out until I see a couple dogs, I see a few people, she's in a really good headspace. I'm in a good position, so I have to look for a good table, a good positioning. All of that's really important. Little nose action, pretty good. Beautiful. Really nice, good sniffing. Hey, no, settle down. So I look for moments of opportunity where she does like a really quick look around to check someone out to be like, hey, you can look at people without being so dramatic. Like just take a chill pill. Nope. That's just so verbal. Because I was at 11. I didn't think she needed another 11. So that was just a verbal NO. But anyway, guys. I'm gonna put her back down on the floor, but I just wanted to show this as an example of how to just manage. I can manage her space really well from here. Um, but, you know, I have the coffee in one hand and this in the other because I'm here to train my dog. I'm not here to relax. I'm here to train my dog the next 12 visits. So then maybe on the 13th visit, I can chill out. So my safety, I've got my foot on the leash. My coffee would be in the hand that my phone has. And I was set for a 20 for that dog because I know if it reached out to sniff her, she would have had a negative reaction and I would have done a tap on a 20. But she didn't. And so if she had just kind of done what I call the creepy stare where she tracks 
track someone, I would have scrolled down or tracked the dog. And I would have tapped more like a seven. But I got to be ready. So if I see a dog, I have to be ready for her to react so I can set a tone. It's the whole point. That's how you are able. No. It's how you're good. That's how you're able to go into places like this where I have a dog that is not good with dogs or people. I need her making more choices to avoid. Period. So I know that seems like overkill for many of you that have never had a dog like this. But, and I know she's not on muzzle, so everybody thinks she's just so precious and sweet. She, she needs a sign. If she's not going to be on muzzle, she really needs a little jacket that says, do not pet. Dad, if I forget to tell you that, this is your reminder. And I'll let that one go. So I'll let a few go where she tracks someone and where they're walking. And then I'll go after one. But I'm not going to go after every single one. I'm going to choose my moments until she relaxes. And it's interesting because she's not near this intense anywhere else. Like I can just kind of set a tone and she'll put her head down, face away, and chill. But in her home area, there are different different um, emotions attached to it. So she needs way more, way more management of me teaching her how I want her to perceive her environment. That's what I'm doing. I'm setting expectations. No, let's go. Good. That was at 18. Sit down. Good. I knew that dog was coming. I never, you know, would have her out here on the edge if I wasn't looking every which way. So I'm ready. If you have a reactive dog, you have got to be ready if they're out like this. That's why, you know, we're just really here to work. So I was ready to set a tone. I was, uh, I tapped on momentary. For anybody who uses the collar and they use momentary and continuous, momentary is great in a lot of ways. One of them being in public. It's just a really good quick snap out of it. The other crucial thing I want to mention is that dogs or a skateboard going by or a person leaning over, you move as well. You don't stay stationary. You say no, you correct if you need to, and you move. You physically move yourself and the dog. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good information to try at home with your own dog on your outings.